it is Friday, June 18th, I think, at 7.38 a.m. I um, the last one to pack out and leave this campsite. It's Caesar Brook campsite. Uh, the last two or three days, it's been a caterpillar invasion. There are a lot of caterpillars everywhere. You can hear, and if you see, um, I'll show you, um, a tree, a low tree. There's a lot of caterpillars. Let's pick this one. There's one. There's one. There's a there. Uh, I'll just go slowly like this. You can see a lot of caterpillars everywhere. So picking a tent site last night was <laughs> tricky. <laughs> I finally found a one tent site that's um, less caterpillar. I didn't see any on my tent or around me, so that's good. That was where my tent was. Here is around the campsite. Uh, over there was uh, a group of Boy Scout that I've seen before in a previous campsite. Um, and that's it. I'm uh, gonna start walking. This is mile 1489. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I don't care about mileage now. I just wanna make sure that I last uh, long, my ankle lasts long through the 2200 miles and um, not push it too hard. So at least I'm gonna try 10 miles and then see how it feels and then add a few more. Uh, we're gonna be passing uh, the town of Cornwall and Falls Village in Connecticut. It'll be beautiful. I'll show you later. I've gone one mile so far. Uh, today's hike will be challenging. Lots of ups and downs on the map. Unlike yesterday, I got a treat of five flat mile. Not, none of that today. <laughs> so it's going to take longer. Uh, my Achilles hurt. It's, it's normal. I mean, you, um, your feet are constantly placed in an extreme plantar flexion when you go uphill a lot. And then when you go downhill, stress on your knee <laughs> so no wonder everyone will have aches and pains but um, it stems from um, tight calves so I massaged my calves last night put some arnica gel and today it's like brand new again but by the end of the day it's gonna hurt again so I'm going slow I don't want to go too fast and hurt a muscle Steps now. It's a nice step. Connecticut has a lot of steps. But yeah, a lot more up and down than Pennsylvania or Maryland all the time. <gasps> I think there's a deli somewhere. Um, I forgot I saw it on 880 Guide. Maybe I can make it. They only op open till three. Hmm, deli. I heard people and dogs barking. There's a swamp here. Okay, the AT goes right here. This is about mile 1486.1 maybe.
crossing again here. this I have to go there and up there <sighs> oh okay and I just did a climb like maybe 400 feet <sighs> okay you can do this oh I go here similar to the lemon squeezer okay I think I'll fit since I lost, lost weight <laughs> okay, I don't know how to, how to climb that. Good thing I can't videotape and climb this at the same time. <laughs> Hold it with this hand. <laughs> See what it looks like. All right. I'm constantly huffing and puffing 12 hours a day. All these trees have no leaves because the caterpillars ate them. Mammy, Liat. Semua pohonnya gundul semua gara-gara dimakan ulat bulu banyak sekali. Miliaran ulat bulunya. Gila. Dalam tiga hari terakhir. Sorry, that was a message from my mom about the caterpillar. So she understands. Ih, <laughs> rintip. Sometimes it fall, falls on my head. Ugh, see? Yeah. Every step I take, there's caterpillar everywhere, not only on the tree, but also on the ground. Millions! Oh my God, there's one hanging. <laughs> but they don't hurt you. Soon they'll turn into a cocoon and butterflies. I am point one from the road. I'm so tired of these caterpillar. Did I say millions of caterpillar? is actually a gazillion. Every tree is saturated. Every step I take, I see them. Five or six of them every time I see, every step. Ugh. There's so many. I haven't videoed much. I don't, I'm afraid to stand still in one place because I, I can see them falling from the trees around me. I don't want anything crawling on me even though they're harmless. Yeah, gross. It's about 12.30 right now. I'm so, so tired. Um, I couldn't stop and sit down and have a, to have a drink or eat food because there's so many caterpillars, there's a gazillion of them. You always sit on them or have them fall on your head if you stop. So I've been walking non-stop and I know that I'm 1.1 mile away from uh, it, Route 7. And then there's a cafe there, I'm going there. It's called Mountainside Cafe. Oh, I'm so hungry and I need cold drink. I hate these caterpillars. What the heck is going on? There's so many of them. I finally got to the road. I'm not sure how to get to hmm, to this cafe. Maybe I should call. I them. think I got to I got to walk another 0.3 miles. Uh, when I see the bridge over Houstonic Houstonic River, and I go 0.2 miles to the east, and the cafe will be there. Oh my God! 
I'm so glad to be out of the woods with the caterpillar. Caterpillar invasion sucks. <sighs> Hopefully where I camp tonight won't be like a gazillion of caterpillars. I believe I am entering Falls Village, Connecticut. Okay, this is mileage 1493.2. Where's the cafe? I have to go over a bridge on the bridge over the Houstonic River, which is to the right. And it says it's 0.2 miles to the east. Am I going the right way? Yep, yeah, there's the right place. Oh, out of the woods. Yeah, I I'm arriving at Mountain Side Cafe. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Okay, I just ate at the Mountain Side Cafe. I'm full, bloated, and um, I have a the hiker's hobble. <laughs> I because I sat down. Uh, I'm only gonna walk two miles to Toy Makers Cafe. I don't know what, what Toy Maker something. It says it's a uh, antique British motorcycle, but it's also called Toy Makers Cafe. I don't know if it's a cafe or a garage. And I called them, they said they're hiker friendly and I can tend in their backyard. So I'm gonna stay there tonight. Uh, everybody else. Is going big miles as usual and I'm doing what my body can handle as of now this because this is only my 12th or thir 13th day okay I'll uh, get back with you when I get to the tenting I am entering Falls Village Connecticut small town very cute Look at this. <laughs> wow, established in 1739 this town. <gasps> the art center. This is Main Street. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> wow, look at this fancy building. 100 Main. Local, local artisans. Okay, let me find this place. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's a little phone box, phone booth. This might be it. Let me knock on the door. 